Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prem and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of 3D glass character dancing animations in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin, Mixamo and Blender. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me and by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects now let's start this by creating a new composition. So for that click on this new composition come to this preset options here I will be selecting this HD1080 which is a full HD resolution with a frame rate of 24 and duration of 10 seconds hit ok. So first of all let's see how we can download characters along with the animation. So for that I will be using this Mixamo just create an adobe account login using that account and later we are good to go so here we can select the character so here if you want to select any of the character just click on that character we will get that character updated here so here you can see we got the character so now click on this animations and here i will search for cheer so after searching for this cheer animation you can see we got these animations and if you click on that animation this character will acquire that animation so here you can see we got that animation here so from here we need to download this character so simply click on this download button and format let it be fbx and later let it be with the skin and click on download button and after downloading this one let's download in dae format also so come to this format options and select this collage.dae format so in this format we will get the textures in zip so we can apply these textures in element 3d so make sure download these characters in collet format also so after downloading the character in fbx format now we need to convert those fbx format into obj sequence because element 3d supports only obj and obj sequence so for that we will be using blender don't worry if you are new to blender also just download blender it is an open source after downloading that so download and install blender after that open blender so now we will get this default scene so in order to delete everything in this scene press a on the keyboard and delete so now we need to import the character which we have downloaded in fbx format so in order to import that go to this file import so here we will get this fbx format select that and locate the file where we have saved so here i will be selecting this here you can see i have downloaded the four characters here so i will select this character and click on this import fbx so here you can see we got our character here so if i play this we'll get the animation so let me expand this here so here the keyframes are only up to 104 frames so since i have set the timeline to 10 seconds i want 240 frames so i need to copy all these frames Control plus c to copy them move one frame forward and paste those so now again come to this last frame move one frame forward and paste those keyframes so now i will have this animation throughout the timeline so after that we need to export this into obj sequence so for that go to this file option export and select this wavefront obj so after selecting this we need to create a folder let me create a folder here so by default i will create one folder so this is the folder which i have created so select that one open it and make sure we have enabled this export animation so make sure this is checked after that we can set the frame start and end here so here i want 250 frames to be exported so i will leave that to 250 and after that click on this export wave obj so here i have downloaded four characters from mixama and i have converted into obj sequence using blender so now let's see how we can import that in element 3d so let me close this browser and open element 3d let me close this blender also don't save so now come to this after effects so in order to import those obj sequence first we need to create a solid layer for element 3d so go to this layer options new create a solid let me rename this to element make it of comp size and hit ok so now come to this effects and presets panel and look for element so select this element and drop it onto this element layer so after that click on the scene setup button so here we got a new window open to work in element 3d so let's import our character which we have converted into obj sequence so in order to import obj sequence we need to go to this file options if we click on this import button we can import only obj file so in order to import obj sequence go to this file option import select this obj sequence and 
we need to select the obj files here so here you can see we got that obj sequence here so in order to import them just select this first file and open and alignment let it be from bottom and hit ok so here we got the character but it is not visible so now scroll down come to this normalize size options and enable it so now you can see we got our character so here i want this character to be a glass so i will change the material here so expand this one select this material so come to this preset options select this physical material in this we will get this glass material so simply select it and drop it onto this material here so here this is not looking like glass so we need to come to this advanced settings so make sure we have selected the glass material come to this advanced options change the blend mode to add still it's not looking that much good so now scroll down and enable this draw back faces so now we can see we got our glass material here so if you want to add material for this also you can do that so for this i will be applying only chrome material if you want to make it glass you can make it or else let me apply glass material only and let me enable draw back faces and let me change the blend mode to add okay so now we got this character in glass material so if you want to hide out this you can do that so i think this is looking good nice so if i enable this environment tab you can see the environment so here i don't want this environment i will change the environment so in order to change just click on this environment button here i have downloaded few hdris from hdri heaven or poly heaven you can use them so simply click on this environment and let me select the environment from here just click on that and locate the file so here i got this environment map so i will select i think this one is okay and hit okay so here you can say we got this environment here hdra here so let me reduce the gamma a bit okay and brightness let me increase this a bit here okay now hit okay so if you want to rotate the environment hold shift key left mouse and simply scroll the mouse sideways so the environment will be rotating here so let me place this here like this so here we got our glass character so now let's import another characters here so before importing another characters let's add a ground plane so go to this create create this plane here and let me increase the scaling to further like 10000 okay so here we got our character so now let me apply ground so ground material so i will apply this ground asphalt onto this plane model so here we got that material so it is bit stretched so click on this uv mapping and uv repeat let me change this to 30 and 30 so now you can see we got this asphalt material so now let me import other characters also for that i will create a new group so simply click on this new folder icon here bring it out of this group and change this to two okay so now let's import our characters in this group to folder so again go to this file option import 3d sequence first file open alignment let it be from bottom and okay so we got the character click on this normalize size option so now you can see we got our character here but there is no texture available now so previously we have downloaded in DAE format also so we'll get textures there so let me import those textures onto the character so expand this one select the material so come to this diffuse options click on that and let me load the texture so here you can see we got the texture here so first let me select this diffuse open so we'll get the material applied on the character now hit ok so now come to this glossiness let me apply glossiness also so again let me come to this textures so this is the glossiness select this one open so it is applied now again come to this normal bump let me apply normal bump also so let me select this textures this is normal bump select that one also and okay so now select this here again select this diffuse click here and come to this textures so here we got that hair diffuse select that one open so here you can see our character got the hair okay so for this i think this is enough i will not apply glossiness or normal bump onto this hair 
So now let's import another character. In this way only we need to import the other characters also. So here I will be using only three characters. So let me import those characters also. So here you can see I have imported all the characters here. So here don't change the position of the characters. So simply just assign this to aux channel. So right click aux animation set it to channel 1. Second character right click aux animation set it to channel 2. Select third character aux animation and set it to channel 3. So here we got the characters here don't move the position of the characters here like this just make them to be on the place where they have appeared okay so we have applied them all to this aux channels one and two in group two okay so after that click on this ok button so here you can see we got all the four characters here so in order to view these characters in 3d space first we need to create a camera layer so go to this layer options new create camera and the preset let it be 35 mm and hit ok so now if I select this unified camera tool and if I rotate this, you can see we got our characters here. So now we need to spread these audience characters around this glass character. So for that select this element layer, these audience characters are in group 2. So come to this group 2 options, come to this particle replicator and in particle replicator shape change this to ring. So now we got these characters here. So now we need to increase this particle count. So let me increase this particle count to 5. So now we got our characters around the around this glass character here. So now we need to spread this audience more. So for that we will be using this X scale. So let me increase the X scale and let me increase this Z scale a bit. So here we got all the three characters overlapping with each other. So now we need to separate them. So for that we will be coming to this aux channels. So since we have set these characters in aux channels, we will be working with the aux channels now. So come to this channel one particle position. So now if I move this particle position here like this, you can see our character is getting separated here. So now let's come to this rotation option and let me rotate the character in Y axis. So now you can see we can rotate the character towards this glass character. So again come to this channel 2 X position and let me change the position of this character here like this and come to this rotation once again Y rotation and let me rotate this character rotation here. Okay. So now come to this channel 3 where our character is. So X position. So I think this is fine and let me rotate this character also so that it is facing towards the glass character so now we got this character separated so now if i play this you can see our characters has got the animation so here the animation will be equal to all the characters so we need to bring bit difference in this animation speed so for that let me move back to this scene setup once again so now select this first character and here let me change the start frame to 5 select the second character and let me change the start frame to 10 select the third character and let me change the start frame to 15 so that we will get a bit of variations so now let me select this group folder right click duplicate this enter folder and let me change this to group 3 okay so now again select this character and let me change this to a7 select this second character let me change this to 12 and select this third character and let me change this to 70. so now we will get more characters so now we got the characters also but they are not spread out so these characters are in group 3 so now let's copy the group 2 properties to group 3 so come to this group 2 first scroll down and here we will get this copy paste group expand that one click on this copy so that we will get all the attributes copied here now come to this group 3 okay come to this copy paste and click on this paste so now we got the character spread here so again we need to change the positions in aux channel so come to this channel 1 and let me change the position here a bit so here you can see we got this character here and let me come to this channel 2 let me change the position here a bit and for group 3 let me increase this scale shape scale 
so that these characters will be scattered here so now we can see we got some more characters added into the scene nice so now let's see how we can add shadows to the scene so for that we need to create a light layer so go to this layer options new create light let it be parallel intensity 150 and make sure this cast shadows is enabled and hit ok so we got light added in the scene so now select this element scroll down come to the render settings so here are the render settings so first of all let me enable this ambient occlusion and let me change this to ray traced okay so now come to this shadow options here where is the shadow here we got the shadow options enable those shadows enable it and shadow mode change it to ray traced so now you can see we got these shadows here so now let's adjust the light so let me select this light layer press p on the keyboard for position values and now let me position the light here so let me select the and bring it here okay so now we can see we got this nice shadows added into our scene fine so now let's add depth of field so select the camera layer expand this one come to this camera options add depth of field enable it and let me expand this aperture 200 and now let me check the focus distance so let me see 1500 or else let me select this element scroll down come to the depth of field expand this one so depth of field mode change it to focus indicator so now we need to set the focus distance so here we can adjust the focus distance so i want this glass character to be in focus so i'll make this red color to be focusing on the character so the area whichever is in red will be in focus and the rest of the area will be out of focus so i think this is fine so now again select this element layer and come to the render settings let me scroll down come to the render settings of this depth of field and change this to pixel blur so now we can see our character will be staying in focus throughout the timeline so in this way we can create this glass dancing character animations in adobe after effects using element 3d plugin easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so i'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye